for West Sussex, we don't know the local graft in home background, so we're not actually aware of what this is. this just a local thing, or is it something other councils are doing elsewhere? to your question about West Sussex County Council, we would only know as a trade union um, if there's any cuts. We, we aren't very strong in West Sussex County Council, but you might also find that their um, uh, refuse collection is done by a private contractor, which probably is jolly, West Sussex. So, you know, we, have, we don't know what's going to happen there. We can only fight on battles where we're strong as a trade union, which I'm sure you appreciate. Just to um, clarify, there's been obviously some interesting developments. I read the report where there was t uh, two, two reports in the Morning Star in which it was stated that out of the 23 Green councillors in Brighton, only four actually voted for these cuts. So it's obviously got um, big implications there. But the other question I wanted to ask was the, uh, the leader of the council, I think it was Kit Kat, in making the case for the cut, had argued that the, the money saved would be redistributed throughout other council workers and the, o the overwhelming majority of council employees would be better off. But obviously, um, you know, from the point of view of the uh, refuse collectors that are losing this enormous sum of money, this is no justification. But it'd be interesting if um, you've got some information as to what they're actually doing with this money, whether it is in fact being redistributed to other council employees. Yeah, sorry, you said about um, four Green councillors voting um, again, sorry, in favour of this proposal. Um, it was four Green councillors because it was at a small committee uh, of Brighton Council. So there were four Green councillors on there, I think four Conservative and two Labour. Uh, and the Tories and the Greens voted in favour of it and um, Labour voted against. In terms of the information, um, the council haven't been that forthcoming with the information. They've now put out a press release saying um, that money will be redistributed. Um, I'm sure there will be some people who will see um, rises, small rises, as a result of the change they're proposing, um, and that's something that we wouldn't object to. Um, but when there's these sort of situations, our argument is that if there's a need for a change to be made, you should be looking to harmonise up, not harmonise down. Yeah. That's, that's our view. Um, what more to say than that, really? Um, does that answer the question? Yeah. Yeah, thanks. That Something that I found particularly disgraceful, actually, was um, when Jason Kitkat um, put out a statement, and it was along those lines of, you know, many council workers are going to benefit. But when you actually look at it, I mean, it's things like, you know, the, the people who do the children's crossings, which who we refer to as lollipop ladies, but of course there are men that do it as well, they're going to lose £20 a week. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot, but they only work, they may only work 10 hours. So out of that, that's actually quite a lot of money. You know, and um, if I can just quote quote a tweet that I read, and now obviously I won't actually say who tweeted it, um, but you know it was Greens tore up 2009 agreement and removed makeup pay. That's not referring to cosmetics; it's, it's an allowance. Um, total loss 4,463 pounds and 53 pence to my annual salary. Now that's the, that's the talk, you know, that, and that's someone who works full time, as I understand it. That's the type of, of losses we're we're looking at to people who are relatively low paid members of council staff. So, um, a couple of people have done some analysis and shown that, I mean, the, the Greens have consistently said that this is not about <coughs> saving money, but obviously they are trying to save money as well in, in, in the wider council budget. Um, there's been some analysis done which has shown that they could implement, say, a cap on higher, higher pay in the council and could save um, at least a third as much again as this measure that they're implementing. So why don't they implement a, a cap on high paid staff? Brighton Hope City Council has got some extremely high paid staff. And you know that would, that would seem to be a better measure to do. You know, even if this isn't about saving money, well, implement that cap. You can save the money there and keep these allowances. To me, the, the, the practical thing that we could all do here, at the end of whenever this discussion ends, is to take a, con a, a collection for the next strike if they have to have one, because one thing, uh, I'm no longer a member of a union being retired. One thing that was obvious 
is that you've got to have a lot of money for workers to carry on striking. And that was two days. And they must have lost some money. And the GMB probably did, I don't know what the GMB did about it. But if there is a next strike, another two days of rubbish, well then, let's contribute to it here. Sorry, just to jump in, um, we'd be very grateful um, for donations for the workers. Um, we've just put a um, strike ballot forward to the council, so there will be more strike action to come. Um, the workers did lose money on the unofficial action they took. Um, the council agreed to pay them for two hours of the um, two days that they were out for. Um, and the workers even have actually kindly said that they're going to donate that money to the local children's hospice. Um, but actually they are going to lose significant money and if they have to go out again um, they're going to lose a lot more. So if you do want to support us, um, practical things you could do would be A, please yes donate, um, we're happy to take collections here if people are willing, um, but if not, it um, won't cost you anything, please visit our website, sign our petition uh, against the cut which goes directly through to Jason Kitkat, tell him what you think um, and also follow us on Twitter, Facebook etc. Thank you very much something which I thought might be appropriate just to conclude this part of the meeting and it's actually um, ties in with our banner I don't know if you've seen um, our Sussex LRC banner makes reference to Captain Swing and the Swing riots of the early 19th century which were particularly pronounced here in Sussex and also in Kent and it's a, a short verse which was attributed to the mythical Captain Swing at the time um, and it I don't know whether we should be um, sending it to Jason Kitkat. It's slightly too long to go in a tweet, which is a bit annoying, but I thought it would, might be just a good way of closing this bit with a, a little bit of a smile anyway. I'll just read it out. It's, Ye gods above, send down your love with swords as sharp as sickles to cut the throats of gentle folks who rob the poor of victuals. 